One of the good souls sent by Krishna to Srila Prabhupada is His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj, who has been serving Srila Prabhupada as a selfless worker over the last five decades. Jayapataka Swami was born John Gordon Erdman on April 9, 1949, the Akadashi after Ram Navami. He was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, to John Hubert and Lorraine Erdman. He was born into opulent surroundings, his father's father being the founder of a large paint factory, which was a multi-million dollar concern at the time. When Jayapataka Maharaj was 11 years old, at the suggestion of his grandfather, he cured himself of a skin disease by calling on the name of God. At 14, he graduated almost effortlessly in the very top of his class from St. John's Academy, the college preparatory school. He was offered full scholarships including tuition, books, fooding, lodging, plus incidental expenses by several major universities around America. He accepted admission into Brown University. There, as a fresh enrollee, he was so much moved by a guest lecture on the life of Buddha that he lost all interest in his studies and began searching for a spiritual teacher. After some time, he concluded he would have to go to India to find his teacher. As he was preparing to leave for India, he met the devotees of his divine grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. He was doing kirtan and distributing Back to Godhead magazines at the park. When one devotee approached him to take a copy of the Back to Godhead, he was stunned to see the tilak on his face and experiencing some strange feelings. It was the experience of seeing something after a long time, a reawakening of something that had been dormant and hidden from his memory. He walked back to the park, but by then the devotees were gone. There began his search for the Hare Krishna devotees. Since Iskon was not very well known, he could not find them for a long time. It was finally during the Rathiyatra preparations in San Francisco that he found the location of the Iskon Center. He came to the temple where His Grace Jayananda Prabhu was making the Rathiyatra cart for Jagannath. His Holiness Japataka Sami was drawn into service of the Rathiyatra by Jayananda Prabhu. In just two months after visiting ISKCON, His Holiness Jabataka Sami decided to commit himself to the principles of ISKCON. Jayananda Prabhu shaved his head, and everyone was surprised to see that within two months of coming in contact with ISKCON, he had shaved up and joined. In 1968, Gordon John took first initiation in Montreal, Canada, and was given the name Jayapataka Das and he was very soon awarded second initiation in New York. Then Jayapataka Das began to render a number of services for ISKCON and Srila Prabhupada. The first, most important, was a service as the president of ISKCON Montreal. While in Montreal, His Holiness was engaged in the service of printing books and dispatching them to other ISKCON centers around the world. He gave enormous effort by making Srila Prabhupada's dream true to establish a printing press for ISKCON. His service to the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust continued in India and continues until today as he is one of the trustees of the BBT. Later, Srila Prabhupada told him to come to India. At Kolkata, Jayapataka Maharaj began to learn Bengali by going out to buy fruits and vegetables. Along with other devotees, he conducted house programs, organized pandal programs, and personally went on Nagar Sankirtan and book distribution, though there was so much violence in the city. On the auspicious day of Radhashtami in 1970 in Calcutta, Srila Prabhupada personally performed the fire yagya, and Jaipataka Das received his sannyas initiation. This 12 sannyasi disciple of Srila Prabhupada would be henceforth known as Tridandi Bhikshu Jaipataka Swami. Soon, the devotees found a new place in Mayapur, and upon arriving in Mayapur, received eternal service to the Holy Dham. When Iskan got a land in Mayapur, His Holiness Jaipataka Swami Maharaj went there on the instruction of Srila Prabhupada. There were five other devotees with His Holiness Jaipataka Swami in Mayapur. As funds were short, 
His Holiness Jataka Swami began engaging in agriculture. He studied several books, learned different methods, and got the best crop. Local farmers were surprised and wanted to learn from him. This helped build a lasting relationship with the local people. Maharaj taught them modern techniques of agriculture and the farmers taught him Bengali. Life in Mayapur in the initial days was very austere and full of different types of dangers. Devotees would sleep on the floor of a grass hut. Since they were living on their own crop, they would have to eat the same vegetables for three months. Jayapataka Swami soon began to oversee construction work in Mayapur and soon the artistic lotus building was built. But envious circle began to give the devotees a lot of trouble. With permission from Srila Prabhupada and the police, His Holiness Jayapataka Swami kept a gun for protecting Iskan devotees and property. Jayapataka Maharaj also formed different teams of devotees called Krishna team, Arjuna team, etc. to keep guard at night. Jepataka Maharaj was very meticulous with all his services at Mayapur. He was very careful that not an ana was unnecessarily spent. He worked hard day and night and would most often be at least two hours late for his prasadam. With the permission of Srila Prabhupada, Jepataka Maharaj applied for Indian citizenship. Srila Prabhupada told Jepataka Maharaj to distribute 10,000 big books and 100,000 small books every month. He found unique ways of distributing books, such as marketplace distribution, pandal programs, festival programs, and namahata. Maharaj made it a point to preach not only in the cities, but also in the interiors of India, in the villages. One time, Jayapataka Maharaj came into the room to see Srila Prabhupada. He said, I have given you the kingdom of God. Now develop it. In 1977, Iskand Mayapur was attacked by the local villagers. They tried to take everything away, and devotees were arrested. At that time, His Holiness Jepataka Swami got the locals mobilized and organized a big procession from Mayapur to the Chankazi Samadhi, and then to the Jagannath Temple. About 25,000 people participated in the march, which consisted of 168 kirtan groups. The protest march and the discovery of the 168 Kirtan groups and his services of book distribution, pandal programs, house programs, and enrolling life members helped him understand that there were so many people who were interested in Krishna and they needed to be given more care. To engage all these devotees and give them training, first His Holiness Japataka Swami considered making an ISKCON Sankirtan organization or ISO. Srila Prabhupada not only gave his blessings for this project, but also told them that the villagers could come to the temple. Stay for a few days, get the idea about Krishna consciousness, and go back to the villages and establish the same thing in their own village. Later he introduced Namahata to establish, expand, and develop this method of preaching. In the recent times, Japataka Maharaj has also developed the system of Bhakti Riksha preaching which assists Namahata by enabling wider preaching and giving intensive and personal training to devotees. To fulfill Srila Prabhupada's mission, he also established ISKCON Food for Life, which is the worldwide media nowadays to distribute free Krishna Prasadam. Japataka Maharaj is the world chairman for Food for Life and ISKCON's food relief program. Descendant of Advaita Acharya himself, selected His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj to be in charge of the annual Shantipur Mass Prashadam distribution program. In March 1974, the first Gora Purnima festival was held. 400 devotees from America, England, Europe, South America, Australia, India, and other parts of the world joined in the festival. So, for the first time in 1974, his Holiness Japataka Swami Maharaj introduced Navadip Mandal Parikram and led groups of devotees on Parikram to local holy places. Then Parikram has been continued ever since with the number of devotees participating increasing every year in the thousands. On November 5, 1977, Srila Prabhupada made Japataka Swami the life chairman of Bhaktivedanta Swami Charity Trust. 
In the beginning of 1980, he started looking after Bangladesh preaching with His Grace Prabha Vishnu Prabhu, His Holiness Mahavishnu Swami, His Holiness Bhakti Vikash Swami, His Grace Vyasaki Das, His Grace Nishtula Das, and His Grace Rasika Das. There he discovered so many Gora Mandal pilgrimages and developed those places. Until today, he has inaugurated many ISKCON temples there. After nine years of the endless travels and GPC responsibilities, finally, in 1979, Japataka Maharaj got his Indian citizenship. From 1980 to 1999, he was the GBC for Southeast USA as well as South America. He is also the GBC for Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. Japataka Maharaj serves as co-GBC in the Far East. Japataka Maharaj personally loves attending Ratyatra simply because he likes Lord Jagannath. It was during the Ratyatra in San Francisco that he first came into ISKCON and his first service was to build Jagannath's Ratyatra cart. Thus he believes that it is by the mercy of Lord Jagannath that he is a devotee. His Holiness visited Puri during the Rath Yatra in the first year of his visit to India, and Srila Prabhupada also told him to build a temple for Jagannath in Puri, for which he is endeavoring. Wherever there is Rath Yatra devotees are eager to invite His Holiness Jayabhutaka Swami Maharaj to attend and inspire the devotees with his ecstatic kirtan and tireless dancing. Japataka Maharaj also in turn attends as many as Ratyatras as possible and dances and sings for Lord Jagannath. His Holiness Japataka Swami began to accept disciples as a spiritual master in the Srila Prabhupada branch of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya. Several devotees who were inspired by his dedication and sincerity to ISKCON and Srila Prabhupada accepted initiation from him. Many more continued to be inspired by His Holiness and aspired to take initiation from him. The following are a few of the responsibilities of His Holiness Jayapataka Maharaj in ISKCON. 1. Zonal Security Seva in West Bengal, Orissa, Bihar, Assam, Tripura, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Atlanta, Hillsborough, Lynchburg, New Orleans, Carrier, Colombia, Bolivia, Chile, Ecuador, Peru, Andaman Islands, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Pondicherry, and Bhutan. 2. GBC Committees Constitutional and Law Revision Committee Member ISKCON Publications Review Board Member Mayapur Vrindavan Festival Committee Member Philosophical Research Group DD Worship Handbook Committee GBC Incorporation Committee Executors Committee com Member and Puri Development Committee 3. In relation to Mayapur, Mayapur Develop Committee Member Exhibits and Theme Park Department Head Land Department Head Ganges Erosion Precautions Promote Sri Mayapur Worldwide GBC Zonal Secretary and Co-Director after 1989's assassin's attack in Spain, he became physically sick and it was almost a close call for him. Recently, after brain hemorrhage in 2009, he lost the natural flow of talking and physical strength to walk. He has been always under medical checkup. But after all this, he is still continuing his flawless preaching activities, which seems impossible for a normal human being. After all his physical turbulences along with other devotees, His Holiness Jayapataka Swami is going to inaugurate the Temple of Vedic Planetarium to fulfill the desire of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Srila Prabhupada, as well as to satisfy Sriman Mahaprabhu. An early devotee who worked with him remarks, There are very few people who care from the bottom of their heart about Iskan Mayapur. Jayapataka Maharaj's experience Loyalty and capacity of Mayapur in-house are unparalleled. His Holiness Japataka Maharaj is an all-rounder. When he does book distribution, he does it with the utmost dedication and happiness. When he organizes a festival or Namahata, again, it is with the utmost dedication and happiness. 
There could hardly be any place in the world that he has not traveled, and hardly any service that he has not tried his hand at. Accepting any service that is given to him as the order of Guru, Krishna and Sadhus, Holiness does them all with love as an offering to his eternal spiritual master. Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Parivajra Kacharya 108 Shri Srimad AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Kripa Bindu Diya Karu Eda Se Trinu Pekha Tehina Sakala Sammana Korite Shakati Dehonata Jatha Jatha Tabito 